Hello doctors, I'm Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. This video is going to be for the lumbar spine testing. We're going to be testing the myotomes. Now the myotomes are a muscle or group of muscles that are innervated by one specific or two nerve levels. So when we're doing the lumbar spine, the first thing that we want to do obviously is the patient's supine. That's the easiest way to do it. I like to do all the myotomes with the patient's supine just because it's easier on the patient. We don't have to have them continuously moving so that they're face up, and then they're face down, then they're face up again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started up. You'll see how I do it. The first one is for L2 and L3. That's the hip flexors. So I have the patient. Now I passively move everything. We're going to have the patient's hip to 90 degrees and the knee to 90 degrees. And I'm going to explain to them to resist this motion. So I'm going to push this way and the patient's going to resist that for a count of five. Okay. When I start pushing, I want you to go ahead and resist. Okay. Resist. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So that was the hip flexor muscles for L2 and L3. The next one is the quadriceps, which is L3 and L4. So what I'm going to be doing is we're keeping the hip and the knee in the same position. I'm going to push down here and I'm going to have him resist by pushing upwards. Go ahead and resist. Excellent. So the patient was able to resist on that one. So we were testing uh, that myotome level. The next one is for L4, which is going to be the tibialis anterior. So we're going to be testing dorsiflexion. So we have the patient dorsiflex just a little bit, and I'm going to push down, and I want him to go ahead and resist. So he's pushing into dorsiflexion. Okay, go ahead and bring the ankle up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to try to push down. I want you to resist. Excellent. The next one is for uh, L5, which is the big toe, okay, the extensor hallucis longus. So on this one, big toe extension is basically dorsiflexion of the big toe. Some people call it dorsiflexion, some people call it extension. On my paperwork, you're going to see both of them written down there for this, for this class. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the patient flex his toe towards me. Or actually, actually, he's extending the big toe, and I am going to push down and tell him to resist. Go ahead and resist. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, relax. Okay, plantar flexion is for S1 and S2. We're going to be testing the gastrocnemius and the solus muscle. So we're going to have the patient plantar flex. Go ahead and push down, and now resist. Excellent. And then the last one is going to be for the hamstrings. So hamstrings, S2. Like I said, I don't like to have the patient moving around that often. So all I do is I just hook right down here. The patient is going to be pushing this direction and I'm going to be pulling up. So I just ask them to go ahead and resist. Okay. All right, go ahead and resist. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. Excellent. What you're doing on this is you're testing the strength of the muscle and to make sure that they can actually resist that for five seconds. And then you switch and you do the opposite side. If, if you feel something where you think there may be a difference, go ahead and check both sides again. And you don't have to go through the entire one. Say if it was with the, uh, with the tibialis anterior, you could just check those again with one side against the other side. So that'll give you a good feeling. This is a great way to find out if there is something going on with one of the nerves.